Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about ratio decrease. What is to decrease? Let's say that we are given ratios like 4 is to 5, 3 is to 2, and 1 is to 3. So all these are ratios. With the ratio decrease, we begin the smaller number and the whole one is the bigger number. As you can see, 4 being our current one, it is the decreased number. And this one is the original number which is higher than the new one. So this kind of a ratio here is a ratio decrease. If you look at this ratio, the current is bigger than the old one. So if the current is bigger than the old one, that one is a ratio increase. Meaning we move from small to a big number. Let us look at our that ratio here. So 1 is to 3. Our current is smaller than the old one. Therefore, we have decreased. We have moved from a higher level to a lower level. And this is a ratio decrease. So these two indicates ratio decrease. But this one indicates ratio increase. Let's now decrease this quantity using the ratio 4 is to 9. And as you can see how we write ratio decrease. So our current number here is smaller than the old number. So this definitely is a ratio decrease. When we're decreasing, we write our numerator to be smaller than our denominator. So the upper number becomes smaller than the lower number. Meaning, already we know this one is the, what we're looking for. And this one is the original one. So you multiply with the quantity. So by 9, 1 by 9, 4. 4 times 4 is 16. This one is the original before decreasing. Now according to the ratio, the old one or the original one is 9. So you can also use the idea of cross multiplication by using if. If 9, which is the old one, this one, is equal to that 6. What about 4? We are looking for 4. That is, we are looking for to decrease this one and we're decreasing this the decrease ratio so what about 4 is equals to what so we cross multiply 9 times x is 9x is equals to that 6 times 4 we divide both sides by 9 by 9 so our x is equals to by 9 1 by 9 4 4 times 4 is 16 so you can use this formula or this one and as you can see there's a decrease from that 6 to 16. Now you can be asked, it decreased by what? So decreased from... From that 6 to 16. Decreased by... So for you to know what it decreased by, you say the original... The original number or the old number minus the current or the new one. So the original was that 6 and the current is 16. Therefore, that 6 take away 16 is 6 take away 6 is 0. 3 take, away one, uh, 3 take away 1 is 2. Therefore, it decreased by 20. These terms are very important. That is decreased from, decreased by and decreased to. They are very important from, to, and by. They are very important when it comes to ratio increase or even ratio decrease. In our second example, you are told that decrease 7 hours in the ratio 4 is to 7. So as you can see here, this is our current one. This is the original one. Therefore, we are looking for 4. Using the idea of fraction, the, because it's ratio decrease, we begin our numerator becomes a smaller number and then our bigger number becomes our denominator. Then you multiply by the quantity that we're given, which in this case is 7 hours. So by 7, 1, by 7, 1. 4 times 1 is 4. So this is the first formula, whereby you use fractions. Our second formula, use the concept that this one was before decrease, this original one. So you also come to the ratio, look for the original number. The original number is 7. So you say if 7 in the ratio is equal to 7 hours, what about 4 
in the ratio will be what? Then you cross multiply. Whatever you don't know, remember we said we normally give it an algebraic letter like x, y, or z. So when we cross multiply, 7 times x here becomes 7x. 4 times 7 is 28. So now we want the value of x. We divide both sides by 7. By 7, 1. So our x here will be by 7, 1, by 7, 4. So you can either use this idea of fractions or this cross multiplication. In our third example, you are told that a farmer harvested 75 bags of potatoes in one season. On the following season, the hill was 45 bags. What was the ratio decrease? As you can see, initially there were 75 bags. The next season, they became 45. So as you... So you can see a drop from 75 to 45 is a big drop. Therefore, this ratio decrease as the question says. Because now our 45 here is our current. So it takes the first position here of the ratio. And then 75 is the original. So it takes the second position here of the ratio. And that's why when we're writing ratio decrease, we begin with a small number and going to the bigger number because our decrease is the current one therefore our ratio is 45 is to 75 but remember also we learned from our previous lesson on how to simplify ratios if you look at our numbers here these numbers they have a common divisor so you can see they are ending with the five meaning their common divisor can be five so let's start by dividing by five so by five one by five nine by five one by 5, 1, because of 5 remainder 2, that is 2 is 20, plus 5 becomes 25, 25 divided by 5 is 5. So it's 9 is to 15. They still have another common divisor, which is 3. So we divide by 3 both sides, by 3, 1, by 3, 3, by 3, 1, by 3, 5. Therefore, our ratio of the first, the, 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 the current to the old one is 3 is to 5. And as you can see, this is a ratio decrease. In our fourth example, we are being told in what ratio is the speed of a vehicle reduced when it moves from 80 km per hour to 50 km per hour. As you can see here, 80 is a higher number than 50. Therefore, the car speed reduced from 80 to 50. So you want to get the ratio. And because our current number here, and because our current is 50, so we begin with 50, then we go to our original 80. And now after getting that, we simplify our ratio. So as you can see, the end with the zeros, so meaning we can divide using powers of 10. So divide by 10 on both sides, and you get 5 is to 8, which is our ratio decrease. So this is our current, this is the original. It begins with a smaller number, going to a bigger number. Let's do our fifth example. Fares in a certain month decreased in the ratio 3 is to 4. The fare before decrease was shillings 200. What was the new fare? So before the decrease, the fare was 200. Meaning that 200 is the original. Or the old one. The ratio is 3 is to 4. So if we use the idea of fraction, we are looking for the decreased fare. So the decreased number in the ratio is 3, which is the current one. 3 becomes the numerator and 4 becomes our denominator. You multiply by the quantity that you are given, which is 200 shillings. So by 4, 1, by 4 is 50. 50 multiplied by 3 is 3 times 5, it's 15, and then our 0 there, which is 100 and 50 shillings. As you can see, initially it was 200 and now it has gone to 150. Therefore, there is a decrease there. You can be asked it decreased by what? We say original take away the current. So it decreased by 50. How do you get that? 200 take away 150, you get 50. So it decreased by... <laughs> proceed and use our next method which is idea of cross multiplication in this case we use the ratios that is 
this represents the old number which is the original number and according to the quantities this quantity is the original one so this and this are related so if 4 is equals to 200 original and original what about the current one 3 is equals to what so we give it like uh, we give letter x then we cross multiply so 4 times x is 4x is equals to 3 times 200 which is 600 and then we simplify that is we do away with 4 here whatever we've done on the left we also do on the right that is the algebraic rule so our x is equals to by two, uh, 4 divided by 2 it's 2 600 divided by 2 it's 300 by 2 1 by 2 it's 150 and therefore the answer is 150 this is what it decreased to. I wish you the best and kindly remember to subscribe, share, and you can as well leave a comment. Also remember to practice. Practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.